were just called in a broken plane back over there. One just blew up back there. One's right over here beside me. Sea lion. On there. Bigger than the rockfish I had, that's for sure. Huh, cool. Got a little guy, little chicken. <laughs> heard they come up and steal your halibut off your line when you're dragging them in that's how come they came over here because they seen me dragging one in from that buoy dogs heard they've taken up to 100 pounders off people's lines that's crazy see color
bigger than the other one. Quite a bit bigger, not a big one by any means, 20 pounder. Guess I'll go try and salmon fish. A little different. Day two of fishing on the water. You go out and set a crab pot up. Wait for the other crew members. Mick and Dave and Rita and Lori from Utah. We're gonna go set our crab pots and then we'll go fish. Checking out. They're coming for me. Coming right at me. Maybe I'll catch a whale. I don't like it. I didn't hook one or something stupid. There's a big tail. Cool. <laughs> yeah, three of them there. A salmon trolling boat. Got my line in the water. Nothing yet. Supposed to get windy later today trying to get the hell of it out of the way. We'll see. Pretty calm over here but it's rough getting over here. It's supposed to get worse as the day goes on. Maybe I'll get the salmon fish, do a little crab pot when I get to the house or the lodge. We'll see. Started early today and it's like 7.30. It took me about an hour to get over here. Oh, bite on, fish on. Fish. Good little guy. One of these little flippers. We'll throw him back. Bloop. Go back, little guy. Grow up. Jake said some guy had a 200 pounder out of here, over here, and they tied it on the side of the boat, and they even got footage of it twisting and getting off the side of the boat. Didn't bother hitting it in the head or anything. <laughs> Bummer. There, it's on bottom.
reel up the door, you got tension on the line. Sometimes you gotta play with it to get it right. It's on bottom. Okay, just bounce across the bottom. Probably only halfway up and I've been fighting him for a couple minutes already. Again, no wonder it's heavy. I got two. <sighs> but the other one, he is there. Oh yeah. Eureka, and it got into the anchor. It's the perfect size. hook out here. Why they break legs. Holy cow, you did not like that. Then you gotta watch so we don't impale you with a hook. I'd like to get them on his belly, that way when they get on their dark side, they ain't so crazy. Thank you. For a billy club, point. Okay, one apparently wasn't enough, huh? That one was. All right, how about done for the day? Catching all this. One for good measure, too. Holy moly. That one's a little bigger than the other one. That one's probably pushing 40 pounds.
lot of life but here this sticks go boy Knocking them dead, literally. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was sick. Well, that's Kayla and Jake and Barry, the dog. Jump, Barry, jump! No, don't. Yeah, I got two. Well, I've caught. I got a double. I caught a little one, then I caught a double and kept one of them and threw the little one back. And now I just got a little bit bigger one. I don't know. That's awesome. It's probably 30-something. There you go. The other one's 20, 20, mid-20s. There you go. Get across the lake before it gets too radical. Yeah, it's starting to get there. Yeah, it was pretty choppy coming over, too, but, really? yeah. Right now, What's that? Pretty cool I think I'm going to go over there and salmon fish. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're going to check on the old folks this way. And Where are they at? Just down the right way down here, down. about a half mile. Down there. We'll is this the kelp bed you were talking about? Yep. One of them anyway, huh? Yep. I started up there and got one little one, then I got a rockfish I had to release. Yep. And I came down here and pulled out about 130 feet and sure. had nothing but halibut so far, so. Perfect. See you over there. I'm going deep like that with the first hook. Pull it through, get the second hook, and I'll go out the other side. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but Holder and wait for the next bite. Caught the ones yesterday off the point of that island over there and around that, and the lodge is over there behind those two gaps on the far side. Yeah, leave this on, see if we can. See a hookup, ball and chain, up, so to speak. We'll see any fish right here. We'll come across some sooner or later. So this is how you do salmon. Put on a downrigger and you fight them in. They don't normally fight too bad. So headed across the lake. Go so there in less than 35 minutes today. Nice calm water. Beautiful day so far. It took me over an hour to get over here yesterday with the stop of water. I got bodies slammed in the boat and all that fun stuff. So, 
last day in Alaska. Very collage anyway. Flying out this evening to Juno. Back home tomorrow. Hope I catch some fish. Keep you posted. Got a fish on. Took a while. I don't think he's very big. But I can use him to fill a box. Little guy. Gnarly little fish. Here, guy. Go. Come on, halibut. Give me a decent one, please. Maybe I should have kept that little one in the whale right out there. Oh, I got a bite. You see that? There's a bite. Hopefully I got him hooked good. Whoa, see what I'm saying? I'm gonna get my hook out here. In case I get in close. Fortunately, my black back feels good today. There's color, see? What the heck is the deal here? Then hooked in the fan. No wonder he's looking mad. him in the fan. He was biting, but geez, he ain't that big. Just a bad hook. Be lucky to get him in before he ripped through his tail. Need to get his tail out of the water. Hold on, buddy. Jeez. Looking like a tail hook. Unreal. No wonder he was so tough. So I need is a hook to deal with. Wow. Oh. 
That'll do. I kind of like it. It's a good one. No wonder it felt so heavy hanging by the tail. Try and get one more. That was interesting. Not everybody say they pulled the halibut in by the tail. I don't know how big he is. Get back and take him in and have Jake and Kayla lay him and get him in the freezer so they're somewhat frozen by the time I head to Juno tonight after supper. We got a plane coming in at six o'clock to take us back to Juno and then spend the night and I'll be going sometime tomorrow. My phone is weird now. Keeps me wanting me to sign into my email. I can't remember passwords as usual. So See, we have our friendly neighborhood sea lions or sea otters messing with me, wanting to take my food. There they are. Watchful eye. I still got him on. I'm just letting him play till they chill out and leave me alone. Said the bush people live over the top of that hill. They got a boat down on the <coughs> past that white rock on the bank there. Not the ones you see on TV. They said those guys are a joke, but these guys are real bush people. They live up here year round. be a listen to you <laughs> all right done with hell but back to the back to the lodge he's been taken care of and offloaded and go try and catch a few salmon before I have to reel up and pack up and cool beans Yeah. Uh -huh. 